Hello fam bam and today we have a really fun and exciting video. I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own handmade DIY tufted headboard. Let's get into it. So I used a foam board as the base of my headboard to make the general shape. So first I drew it out and then I used these scissors are so heavy duty you guys. These are like $40 scissors and I had a really hard time cutting through the foam board. I had to cut like little pieces at a time and it was very difficult to get the curve that I wanted. So I do not recommend using scissors. Now I have a razor blade and this worked so much better y'all. Like definitely use um, a razor blade if you're going to try to cut foam board. So I used the first piece as kind of like a stencil because I'm making two headboards and I just used a like a crayon no it wasn't a crayon it was a um, eyeliner that's what it was <laughs> to make the stencil and now I'm using the razor blade to curve the lines and I'm just cleaning it up right there making sure it looks even and I'm going to attach it to the bottom portion of the board with some tape so I took off the corners to make it like a curved corner at the top so that the shape looks more like a princess headboard and then I used tape to make vertical lines to um, just strengthen the structure of the headboard now this is polyester um, I don't know like stuffing I guess you put this inside of comforters or pillows at the local fabric store and truthfully you guys I should have gotten way more of these I wish I used about two or three packs per headboard to make them a lot thicker and so the tufting would show up more but you know I didn't know this is my first time trial and error you know what I'm saying so I got my glue gun and I just pressed down the foam onto the board and I wrapped it around to the other side and like cut off some of the layers because I still wanted to keep the shape of the top of the board. Um, but, you know, f this foam does not stick very well with the glue gun. I have seen people do it with a spray adhesive. Perhaps that would work better. I'm not quite sure. But this is just what I had, so it's what I'm using. And I pulled the foam around to the other side which I mean you don't really need to do that because you lose the shape a little bit of the board you can just cut it off like I'm doing right now I just cut the rest of it off you can totally uh, that's what I would recommend actually and that's what I did on the second board and then I'm just gluing down the different layers to each other so that it doesn't come apart now I'm taking my fabric laying it out and I'm going to pull it super super tight and wrap it to the back side of the board now be careful you guys because the hot glue gun is super fucking hot like use a little piece of board to push down the fabric to the glue because otherwise you're gonna burn yourselves okay so just be careful this fabric was pretty thick so I mean it was hot through the fabric but it wasn't like burning my hands it's really really important that you pull really super tight so that look it's straight on the other side you see what I'm saying there should be no wrinkles in the fabric okay so I'm using this really heavy-duty thread and these buttons are glass buttons but they look kind of like crystal we are going to map out where the crystals are gonna go so I just dotted them onto the fabric with Sharpie and I threaded my needle I got a really thick long needle and I'm gonna pull it from the back side through the foam board and then I'm going to add my crystal button and push it again through the foam board to the back side. This can be a little bit difficult to get it through the foam board sometimes. And then I'm gonna pull the first string out a little bit so that I have two longer pieces. And then this I'm going to tie in a knot as tight as humanly possible, like pull really, really hard because the harder you pull, the more the button is going to sink into the fabric and create that type of wrinkled, puffy, tufted look. This is why I say I should have used f way more padding because it doesn't look that tufted and that was a problem for me see how it's not quite as tufted as I would like it 
But, I mean, it still came out cute. I'm not mad at it. But my suggestion to you guys, if you're going to be doing this project, is use double the amount of padding that I used. And here you can just see in fast forward, I'm doing a bunch of these buttons. I don't want to bore you with it, but here's a crystal that I got off of a bracelet. And I'm going to use that at the very top of the headboard. Yeah, I keep everything, you guys. I keep junk and scraps and it came out really nice. You can mount this with a nail. You can mount this with command strips on the back. It is super crazy lightweight. It's only foam board and foam underneath of there. So it weighs next to nothing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more DIY suggestions, put them in the comments below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!